You know, there's a man in John chapter 5. I pick on him quite a bit. Because he'd been laying 38 years in the same spot, waiting for somebody to come along and do something for him. <laughs> John chapter 5, verses 1 through 8, it says that there was in Jerusalem a pool called the Pool of Bethesda. And I guess it was in Bethesda. And he, there were five porches there. And once a year, an angel would come and stir up the water, and whoever got in the water first would get a miracle. And so these sick folk, blind, lame, crippled people, would lay around that pool waiting to see who got a miracle the next year. And Jesus came by there, and there was one man. He asked him, how long have you been laying here? 38 years. 38 years. I wonder if some of you have just been laying around for 38 years like Mike was laying up here. <laughs> Come on. Well, today it's time to get up. Well, when Jesus began to ask him about it, and of course, Jesus already knew how long he'd been laying there. The Amplified Bible said he was trying to shock him into realization. <laughs> And so maybe that's a little bit of what I'm trying to do right now, shock you into realization. How many times have you been around the same stupid mountain? Anybody ready to move on beyond that? And get on to the next thing that God has for you in your life? And so as Jesus began to question him, he, this is what he said. He said, sir, when the angel comes and the waters are stirred up, I have nobody to put me in the pool and everybody else always gets ahead of me. <laughs> Come on, somebody's got to understand that. <laughs> this guy was so full of self-pity and he was waiting for somebody else to do everything for him. I said he was waiting for somebody else to do everything for him. I said he was waiting for somebody else. <laughs> Quit waiting for somebody else to make you happy and just decide to be happy. <laughs> Amen. Stop expecting other people to hear from God for you and learn how to hear from God yourself. You know, a baby, when they first start walking, they prefer to hold on to something. And we're like that too, and that's okay. In the beginning, you want props. You want people to help you. And so every time you get in trouble, you, you call somebody, you know, you need to be encouraged. You, people always have to keep you propped up. But the time comes when God's going to kick all those props out from under you, and you're going to have to face the enemy yourself and learn how to stand strong. And then be strong for other people. Well, this man was still laying there depending on everybody else. Everybody else always gets ahead of me. Well, you know what I think? I think in 38 years, even if I couldn't have walked, I think I could have wiggled. <laughs> I mean, 38 years, come on. Surely he could have wiggled over to the edge of that pool in 38 years and, and had this attitude. Next year, when that angel comes, I'm going to be the first in this pool or I'm going to drown trying. <laughs> and you know what Jesus said to him? He didn't say, oh, you poor guy. Oh, wow, 38 years and nobody puts you in. And everybody always gets ahead of you. No wonder you're laying down in life. <laughs> no, you know what Jesus said? Get up! <laughs> Get up! In the Bible, there's a big exclamation mark. And then he said... And Clean up your bed and take it with you. I like that. Not only does God want us to get up, he wants us to clean up our mess that we've made all those years that we were laying around doing nothing. <laughs>